If you have ever created 3D content, you might know the pain of creating these 3D assets as that is one of the most time consuming and challenging creative tasks. If AI models can generate 3D content based on text input, it will really change the way we play this game and it is going to democratize 3D content creation and be really helpful for the video game and entertainment industry as well as for developing augmented reality and virtual reality applications. Meta has just released Meta 3D Gen or 3D Gen which is a new state of the art system for text to 3D asset generation. Meta claims that this new system can generate high quality 3D assets in less than a minute in few seconds. The generated 3D assets will have both high resolution as you can see in this screen with texture and material maps plus 3D gen also supports physically based rendering or PBR and generative retexturing of previously generated 3D assets. There are two components to this Meta 3D gen. Before I go there, the thing which you need to understand is that 3D generation has unique and difficult challenges not shared by other forms of media generation such as images and videos. Production ready 3D content has exacting standards in terms of artistic quality, speed of generation, structural and topological quality of 3D mesh, structure of the UV maps and also texture sharpness and resolution. Compared to other media, a unique challenge is that while there exist billions of images and videos to learn from, the amount of 3D content viable for training is 3 to 4 order of magnitude smaller. 3D generation must also, must also learn from images and videos which are not 3D and where 3D information must be inferred from partial 2D observations. And that is where this Meta 3D shines as it achieves high quality generation of 3D assets in under a minute. It supports PBR as I mentioned earlier which is really good for enabling relighting of generating assets in applications. When assessed by professional 3D artists, Meta 3D generation significantly improves key metrics for production quality 3D assets, particularly for complex textual prompts. This faithfulness to the textual prompt is better than other text to the 3D approaches, commercial or not, outperforming techniques that take from 3 minutes to an hour for generation. The quality of generated 3D shapes and texture is better or at least on par with these competitors using a scalable system that is significantly faster and more faithful. Once the object is generated, its texture can further be edited and customized in just 20 seconds with higher quality and at a fraction of cost compared to alternatives. The same approach can be applied to texturing of artist created 3D meshes without any modification. If you look at the architectural flow of this, this is quite interesting. So there are two main components. First is text to 3D generation and then we have text to texture generation. There are two stages. First in, as I mentioned, 3D asset generation where given a text prompt provided by the user, stage one creates an initial 3D asset using Meta's 3D asset gen model. This step produces a 3D mesh with texture and PBR material maps. And the time it takes around is 30 seconds or half a minute. And then in stage two, there are two use cases as you can see on your screen. In the use case one, given a 3D asset generated in stage one and the initial text prompt, stage two produces higher quality texture and PBR maps for this asset. It utilizes Meta's text to texture generator, Meta 3D texture gen. The inference time for this is around 20 seconds. In the use case two, Given an untextured 3D mesh and a prompt describing its desired appearance, stage 2 can also generate a texture for this 3D asset from scratch. The mesh can be previously generated or artist created. And the inference time again for this is just approximately 20 seconds and that's pretty much it. And in this paper if you go through it, there are a lot of examples where you will be, where you can be really fascinated by the quality. For example, look at these prompt. 3d images amazing stuff amazing amazing stuff so not only it's diverse the quality is paramount look at this line fish amazing stuff so that's it guys very impressed by this i uh, don't see any code released yet but as soon as i have the code and i could run it i will 
be making another video where I could um, show you the working demo of it, but amazing stuff. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.